Nancy, I've been saving something for you all day. Oh my God, tell me. <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me. So the first thing I thought when I woke up this morning was, uh -huh. let's get organized, organized. <laughs> Let's Literally, I am not even lying. Oh that's the I woke up. Six eighteen is my alarm, that, and that's what ran through my head. You are a cartoon character. <laughs> you are Patty. What the would be? Girl. Oh yeah, I was going to say. Do you know any um, little kids who would bond with a cartoon character like that? That was really tidy and organized. Yeah. Oh, there's got to be some kids out there, right? right? Yeah. None of mine. It's like the opposite like, of Harold and the purple crayon. Doesn't he like scribble oh, yeah, all he over scribbles everything? Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's the opposite of that. That would actually really upset her as I am blinking right now. I sure <laughs> aren't even thinking about that. What are we going to discuss today? We're chatting about getting organized in the Horizontal Weekly uh, Planner. Mm -hmm, Specifically mm -hmm. giving different layout ideas for the short weekly pages. Or the whole thing, really. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. the whole thing we can do here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. As we've said before, our planners are versatile AF. So, versatile. <laughs> Especially this year with the new design, the 2024 design, we took out some things that made it more defined, spaces yes, more defined. Yes, yes, because I saw how we in the office and also mm -hmm. you out there used it like you customized it so much. I get a lot of messages sometimes that are like, will you make a nursing planner? Will you make a grad student planner? Or all these things. And I'm like, what is? It could it be is. any of it. Yeah. It's just like how you use it. It's not specific for an industry. The bread and butter of planning. Right. Your to-do list. Right. I, your schedule. Your schedule. Uh-huh. Goals. Goals. Could be in there. Yeah. Somebody else's schedule. Is Somebody often else's in there. schedule. Sometimes. Habit tracking. Habit tracking. Yeah. That's like, that's kind of it. Right. And I think every, with, with exceptions, almost every profession or lifestyle, you're going to use yeah. those five different elements in a different way. And right. This is how we're we going to show it. you how to do this it. This is how we do it. Let's get down to it. We're going to show you all the different ways you can organize your horizontal weekly edition planner. Yes. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> all right. Shall we? Let's. Numero uno. I can tell by the handwriting that you did this example. So. But I just copied your example. But oh. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> so this is an example if you are a student. If you are not a student, this layout will also work for you. Yes. Which is awesome. So she put in her big plans like overarching over here mm -hmm. and color coded up here. So when she was going to be away, when her sorority meetings were, when like assignments were oh. due or like super important stuff. Mm -hmm. And then her job, she has a part-time job. So she works at the library. Student. Does she? I'm pretty sure you she made this girl up. I love that. She works at the library. Yeah. I actually thought that she was a, um, a hostess at a restaurant. Oh yeah. Uh, cause, but maybe that's cause that's what I did in college. And so I'm projecting just a smidge. Oh. <laughs> okay. And as you can see, she has other plans in here, but they just like don't fall into this. So they're kind of all over. This was her like detailed schedule, like what time she's having lunch with people, what time her study groups are and everything like that. When she's going to like reminders are on here, big plans, things she needs to do. And then this is her overarching study study because she's got that big Spanish she's, exam. She's planning out those yeah. really, really important yeah. things. So yeah. I feel like it's really good. She can see them in both places and plan ahead. Mm -hmm. And the more you write it, the more it sticks in, you know, yes. these are her daily list of things to do. What mm -hmm. she needs like homework wise to do her like gym priorities, um, prep for presentations. So mm -hmm. she's looking ahead at the presentation she needs to make and stuff like that. Don't think about Spanish. <laughs> Smiley face. cute. <laughs> and then uh, her to do this week is here as well. So just random whenever she can fit it in. It's there. This was my favorite part of this one, of this like layout. This is her schedule, like her actual class schedule. So I used our little sticky notes. I think these are from the Vertical Weekly. It just has her schedule that way. Like she doesn't need to put that here. You know, cause it's like every day, this is what she's doing in between her schedule time. So anyway, it's on sticky notes so it can move around. I don't know if it changes. Mine never did, but yeah. mine was the same for the whole semester. But anyway, she put that each semester there. And even Maybe there are like study groups added in. Yeah, she could, do that, you she know? could totally do that because there are sticky notes she could 
like say this week, she is doing yoga on the lawn or study group. Yeah. On Tuesday. Then she would like put that it in, in right at three. Yeah. Stick so then she sort of like has time blocked, but doesn't have time blocked. Like yeah. she used her notes section to be able to time block and see how much time she has left, but she doesn't need to put that all here. I love this. Right? Isn't that I'm fun? I'm kind of thinking about, should you do that? I know. Oh, I feel like I could time block with yeah. a sticky note. You could. And what also what I love is that our vertical sticky note set has different colors of these smaller yeah, sticky so notes. Yeah, so they could be. So yeah. like this could be your base schedule color and then you could, the new ones that you put in would be like pink. So this is our sticky note set. Yeah, the this vertical is the vertical weekly. one. Y'all can see these are all little. So there's three different colors. And then you have, oh, I must have used, I used a little combo, y'all. You did. Yeah, I definitely did. So I used some Horizontal Weekly, probably some Project Planner ones and these, but you could easily just use this yeah. size and just get the Vertical Weekly. Yeah. Or cut these in half. I think I cut them in half. I think that's what you did. Yeah, that's what I did. I cut them in half. Well, you could use these too. Yeah, so great. And then she has her don't forget for the month, which as we all know, that's also my favorite part mm -hmm. of this. I need to start planning for her volunteer fest. That's the big her. thing at the end of the month. And then this is her packing list. Yeah, so it's like pretty simple, I think, except for like this, which gives her the ability to time block. And then I also really liked this part. Like this mm. is every single day study and this is what you're studying for. She had some open times to be like, what, that, what, what should, should I do I in do? this open time that I'm waiting for this class to start? That's what I should do. Go through do. your Spanish yeah. flashcards. So true. Yeah, yeah, don't scroll. Don't scroll. Go, <laughs> go through that. I yeah. like this. Okay, yay. <laughs> okay. okay, so this was our student. student. Yep. Now let's look at this lady. Oh, this or one this I also planner. did and I loved. Okay, okay, I tell us, loved tell us, this tell one. Us. So this woman, I actually found her on our Facebook group, our Laurel Denise Loves private Facebook group. Oh. She uploaded a picture of this and I just thought it was really, really fun. I really liked it. So again, she did the color coding. She did her overarching schedule when there's a tournament, when there's dance, there's a doctor's appointment, mm -hmm. but she didn't write the specifics of that down. She'll write the specifics of that here mm. when she does that. So tournament, whatever time or whatever it is. So I really liked that. I think she has two kids and she homeschools is what I gathered. She does a very detailed to-do list over here in her schedule section. Mm -hmm. And she actually fit all of this in here. Like it wasn't just my small handwriting that fit. Like wow. she did too. And she highlights when she finishes, which I think is I kind of a that. fun way to like yeah. bring color into this. I usually just like check or cross it out or whatever, but I oh kind of liked that. I'm already getting so many ideas. I, I think know. I'm gonna do that too. You do? Yeah, yeah I really it's really like, fun. It looks so It looks so nice, pretty. right? And it's a way to bring your color over here, but also it's like not necessary. You can just use a check mark, but yeah. it's so fun. Yeah. And then she drew a little line here and she did her meal planning for dinner on the side here, which I thought was great. And this was a fun use of this because she did a little daily reflection here. So she was like, How'd she feel about this day? Busy and productive day. It definitely wore her out, but she felt great. I think personally, like looking back on that is so fun. And that is a huge plus for the horizontal weekly. Yes. Cause it has, you, you have really space. can use this space for that. Mm -hmm. Especially if you can fit your actual appointment times and details and stuff, which a lot of people really can mm -hmm. in here. Mm -hmm. You know, and then this is your to do. And then anyway, I loved that. Her this week was pretty straightforward. And then she had books to read. I thought that oh. was really fun. I was like, oh, do, are these on mine? I've read what Alice forgot. It was Lessons good. in Chemistry. Did we, you read that? We read that for a book club. I haven't read it, it yet. Was Will I like it? So good. It was really? so cute. We all loved the main character. She was amazing. There's a really cute dog in it, too. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, I've been like resisting. Definitely. Oh, okay. read it. I wish okay. I had bought a copy, but I didn't. Oh, have it's one. a cool cover. I can see it. Is. it. The help I've always been uh, And this is her to do this month. I just liked the way she kind of used these short pages. I thought it was really neat. I, oh, and also okay. this is weird. Okay, tell me. I loved this. <gasps> this indicated the end of her month. Oh. And I don't know why, but I literally was like, that's, a, that's <laughs> good. Like the simplest things, yeah. right? I'm a huge sucker for yeah, reflection. The reflections and journaling, just mm -hmm. writing something about mm -hmm. your day. Yeah, and it wasn't even that sentences. long. Like, we finished our puzzle. House got clean. Great family dinner. Yes. I want to remember that that remember happened that. on October 4th. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's my anniversary. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'd be really fun. <laughs> our anniversary was great. <laughs> so fun. Okay. <laughs> 
I yeah. want this one. Okay, thanks. And okay, this is oh. another one. Sorry, I'm chatting a lot. You I are. I love it. Sorry. You're great. Sorry. Okay, this is another one I just stole right from El from the Laurel Denise Loves. <laughs> we <laughs> love Laurel Denise Loves. You guys give us the best ideas. You're so. Oh my gosh, so creative. So well organized and passionate too, which yeah. is really nice. I know, I love that too. She kind of did a mix of actual times and what the overarching plan is, which okay. is kind of, sometimes I do that too. So I kind of love that she did that. What I gathered is she has one kiddo and she also cares for her elderly parents. So there's a lot of parent appointments okay. in here. She could probably really benefit from a little time blocked thing too, to see like Ooh, yeah. take XYZ there, take mom here, take her daughter or son there, you know? Mm -hmm. And then she split this column and she put actual times of things on the left here. And then what her to-do list would be for this day. Uh, on the right, she put her meal plan for dinners here. And then she put her cleaning focus oh my gosh. for home here. <sighs> Isn't that great? I yeah. know, I loved that too. I loved that. That's, yeah. that's such like an easy way to get things done and not have to do it all on like yeah, a Sunday. Yeah, not have to do the whole thing. Yeah. yeah, and then like, it's also a good way to like, you know, on Wednesday I kind of start feeling stressed about the laundry piling up mm -hmm. and everywhere, but I say in my brain like, well, Saturday is laundry day, mm -hmm. so it's okay. Like it's, I have a place for it. You know, it's like a theme of my plan. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, this week, pretty straightforward. I loved this list. I shared this list on Instagram. Packages expected. Mm. Y'all, the way I need this list in my life, yeah. it's number one. <laughs> it's accountability for how much shopping that you do on yeah. the internet. Like yeah. what you're doing. It's yeah. a bought list because mm -hmm. it's like, oh, I got these things. Did they arrive? And, oh, I'm getting to the end of my, no more buying. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, also, can we just hear, I did, instead of Costco, like I did here. Uh -huh. Y'all, I go to Costco every week. Salmon, smoked salmon, so good. I wrote Costco. 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 So we're just gonna embrace off, off the brand humanness. Costco. <laughs> and then her to do this month was here. And this I thought was pretty cool too. I think if you didn't wanna draw this whole thing out, there would be a way to fit it in to here with like uh -huh. another color. But it, it was her part-time job. And I think it's the hours worked. Oh. And then when she's paid, she gets a check mark. Wow. I know, isn't that really great? This person is organized. So organized. I and she loved has it. Me. She's taking care of so many people. Yeah. Like that. And she's a part-time job. I'm like, whoa. Wow. I thought that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. Back to this packages expected list. I've been really vibing with my to buy list. Oh yeah. Because I'm really trying to not do as many impulse buys. Yes. And so, so the internet can't. says that you should make a list of what you want to buy and then sit on it. I love that. Idea. And wait, like, I usually wait like a month. You do. Because <laughs> I'm like researching things yeah, good for and you. I'm really thinking about whether I need it. So I feel like you could combine that with this if you like had a, yeah. a shopping list. And then once you ordered it, you could like you do little the little highlighter mark. thing. Yeah. And then once you got it, you could check it. Oh, that's a good idea, Nance. Yes, I like cool. that. And if your to do, if your package is expected or to buy list, like kind of goes over every month, you could put it on a sticky you here. Could. Yeah, that's, yeah. I would need to put it on a yeah, sticky. Yeah, absolutely. Like this one from our horizontal set, it's kind of smaller, but we have one from our normal, our sort of general sticky note set that mm -hmm. works right here too. So, ooh. This was a great, example thanks oh my gosh i forget because we did this last year and i remember getting so inspired yeah and it's happening again i know <laughs> okay even though i did this one you're gonna say it okay i'll do this i one. copied yours okay we were inspired by current adhd in the and we'll link her she's awesome she's so encouraging yes. and she has like actual good tips she's awesome but she does three main priorities a day yes that she's gonna do yes. or like categories or whatever and then the rest we we totally yeah totally made like up. totally made so, up. so in my mind i was like this is a fitness focused person who yes. needs a flexible schedule they're maybe with their normal job they have flexible hours kind of yes. like me she pretty much focuses all of her month on her workouts Yes. And she can try, do like rest, legs, cardio, core, rest, arms, cardio. I love it. It was very inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then she also puts her little meal plans down here, but we'll get to that later. Oh yeah. I loved that. <gasps> yeah. <so> dumb. <laughs> she is also organized. That's a yeah. kind of a theme throughout these. <laughs> 
Then in her left side of her week, she does her three priorities for the day, which tended to be like two for her work, admin, social media, and then one for herself, mental health. Mm -hmm. And then over here, I love this. This yeah. is partially inspired by our customer service, Aline. Oh yes. Yeah, we um, kind of mixed the two. We mixed some. Yeah. She also did one in vertical mm -hmm. that she, she's just very inspiring. So yes. where we used our sticky notes from our vertical weekly mm -hmm. sticky notes set. And then you can put like emails, update schedule, plan, gym, blah, blah, blah. So you can the move them are. around, which is part of the flexibility part of and your you day. And you can reuse them so you don't have to. I think like yes. particularly them over with here. like ADHD, you're not going to get your like happiness hit by writing yeah. this over and over again. So you can just like use it and put it on the next week. Yes. Yeah. So when you flip yeah. to the next week, look, yeah. you still have your little arsenal of sticky notes yeah. right here. And you have your sticky notes you already did. Like yes. answer emails, create a brainstorm. Like that's that you could reuse. Yeah, maybe once like Monday is over and you've already updated your schedule, you, you just like it, plop it right back in there. Put it over there. Yeah. And then the next week you put it where it's going to go. Yeah. Yeah. So she has like her work here and then this is her evening, which you see gym. I liked that. How you did daytime and evening. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that was cool. I love this girl. This I is her this notes section. Too. This is her sticky note arsenal for her yeah. remaining weeks. Mm -hmm. And then over here is her meal planning. She's super into meal planning. Two breakfasts, two Options. lunches, and two dinners per week. She pretty much meal plans entirely on Sundays. Yes. Meal prep for an entire week. Which I think a lot of people in the fitness world do. Yeah. And then she schedules them out over here. Breakfast one, lunch one, dinner one. Isn't that amazing? Systems. Yeah. Systems. Stumps. And we have sort of started using this, which we'll probably talk about in another YouTube, for our social media ideas. Yes. We keep them on a spreadsheet, but yeah. then we put the, the column yeah. there. Mm hmm So great, yeah. guys. So I love I love one. her. Yeah, I love it. Doing this one was fun, too. Yeah. Filling it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then this. Ooh! I yes. love this one because it was inspired by my friend Emily. She uses the Laurel Denise planner. She sent me this whole video being like, Nancy, like this is how I use like this I section. I love that. Again, I, I said I earlier, I have a soft spot for people who journal and reflect on their days. I tried to do this after you shared this a, a little bit ago. Uh-huh. And I made it two days. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. That's good. That's two I'm days that you would have reflected <laughs> without it. So. Right. I'm very reflective. <laughs> I'm like an ocean. Yeah. With the sun on it. <laughs> just, just thinking all the time. You really are reflecting. <laughs> Seagulls <laughs> circling. <laughs> How Emily organized her planners is over here. She, she does some appointments, but yeah. it's really just like things that need to get done that day. Pick okay. up dress. She did get married. The uh, big day. The big day. So it's like planning out her wedding, calling her grandma, etc. cetera. Love it. Over here, she does a journal for the day of uh, like what happened. Mm -hmm. And then over here is like her reflection and her, of her feelings about the day. Did she feel grateful? Did she feel stressed? Oh, so this is just what happened. And this, this is what is happened. Her. And this is her oh, feelings about it. So she's really so processing. Feelings. And then in her this week column, I love that. she has her goals for the week. Personal, journal five minutes a day, keep winning in perspective, Ooh, breathe, yeah. meditate, and then love for it. work. She needs to like yeah. really settle things before okay. she gets married because she's, yeah. yeah. And then in her back page in her notes, she journals at the end of the month, a whole month reflection. So nice. I've never reflected like this I much know. in a whole year. Well, she puts it maybe as part of her would, goal. Journal five like, minutes a day. Maybe that would help me. It's proven. Journaling is proven to help people. I know, people. I know. Because you really work through your feelings. And I think it's what I love about journaling in the planner itself. Like yeah. it's kind of intimidating. I've tried journaling so yeah, many times yeah. before bed and I'm like, I have this whole page and I'm like, what am I supposed to write? Like I feel I great. Know. Yeah. But having a smaller space makes it a little less intimidating. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And I think I like this separation of what happened versus how I felt because those are two different and also it would make me really pause to be like, sometimes at the end of the day, I'm just like, I'm so tired. Yeah. But if I thought through, I'd be like, wait, well, I actually felt really excited and happy that most of this day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, or, or for another example would be like one day in like the last month, I had a bad day at the park and then my bag broke 
That was and a bad day. It was just a really, really hard day. Yeah. Then I go into bed and I'm like upset and I'm like, oh, my life is falling apart. Mm -hmm. But if I was journaling about it, I would say, these are the things that happened. And then being like, well, I feel really anxious and like upset. It's because those things happened. It's not because right. my life is falling apart. Because that's who you are. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> so. Oh, this is good. I love this. <laughs> I love journaling. You know what another way to use it? If you wanted a whole second plug planner, <laughs> um, this, like you could have another planner that's like your schedule and all that. And uh -huh. this one you could put your like either habits here or like overarching smile, <gasps> sad, or like health wise, how you felt here instead of appointments, oh my God, which would be that. like extended self um, reflection. I love that. I will, I love the idea of doing your habit tracking. Yeah. Here. I combine personal and work in mind, which we yeah, will me see, too. but it would be kind of nice sometimes to separate them. Yeah. Um, I love your planner. I can't wait <laughs> well, to see it. I love this one. Nancy, and then thank you for writing monthly, this out. You're so welcome. Not just once, but twice. <laughs> and then over here, we just have monthly personal goals and then work personal goals. I love it. For the These house plant stickers. Yes. And that this Nancy is what, drew herself that are available on the website. They're so cute. This is something I really like that Emily did. I've gotten pretty like structured with my stickers as yeah. we will see, but Emily just like put them throughout and she even so put them throughout pretty. her this. And I was like, oh, she's like, I oh, know. Oh my stickers. gosh. It makes me want to do it. <laughs> Darn it. it. Why can't I be better? <laughs> so thank you, Emily. So awesome. good. Okay. So now moving on to how I am setting up my planner, which we'll just go right to October. So this is my October spread oh, for next Nancy, month. This is so pretty. I am so obsessed with this. It's like the happiest. Do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like, I don't think, uh, you, oh joy, the blogger girl. It reminds me of her colors that she uses a lot. Or was this some another time she, or somebody else that did like really cool subway tiles in their kitchen that were like really <gasps> happy? Oh my God, I would love that. I know, I'm gonna have to go look because okay. now I'm like, did she do that? Yeah. I know, okay. <laughs> so what I do is I put my appointments and then Lolly and I plan out our social media posts. So like these are, I'm responsible for, Lolly is the Girl, L. you got some travel this month. Yeah, I do. And then travel this month, I just highlight. So I, I know it. it's a lot. Oh, some is, is here in town. Yeah, a lot okay. of it is in town. Yeah, okay. And then over here, I have my social posts here okay. for the day. Love that. My work to do, personal to do my meal plan, and then my habit tracking over mm -hmm. here. And one thing that I did last month that I really liked was just cutting this so I didn't have to write this every time. It's so brilliant. And so now I do that. It's so brilliant. <laughs> it makes me actually want to design the planner that way, but I'm like, do not complicate no, it no, anymore. No, don't do that, yeah. don't do it. Because people change, but it's yeah. like, people change what they want to do, but it is so good, right? I was also exciting because then I could continue my fun oh, stickering yes, all the yes. way over and have it all month. Girl. And then over here, I, this is, I've just oh, been I using, this. these sticky notes are my They're jam. They're so good. I've decided. Actually writing on them feels like butter. It's yeah. so nice. Yeah, I yeah. love these. And mm -hmm. it's, it's they're my go-to when I just have mm -hmm. to write a list. Yeah, Sorry. that you just like maybe don't want to commit to or have it get lost in the notes section. Yes, but, yes. Um, you could use a pip for that. I could use a pip like for that. Like put the sticky notes on the pip even. I could. And then you could use your note section for something else if you right. want it. And then over here I have my <gasps> daily gratitude list, which is my attempt at journaling. <laughs> but are they cute? I use I really got into these stickers. You put little numbers on yeah. them. They're so cute. There are 31 days in October, but you know what? Whatever. Oh. I'm gonna really? miss a day. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Nance. I know. Can't we just peel these babies no. up? No. <laughs> oh so no, that, I wish you hadn't told me that. That 31st day will just be in my head. I'll be oh, grateful, I'll know. That it's Halloween and mm -hmm. you're just great. No, you're not grateful on Halloween because your dog hates Halloween. Yeah, he does hate Halloween. Yeah, Halloween's yeah. the worst for Fred. Mm -hmm. And July 4th. Which one's worse? July 4th July 4th. Or yeah. July 4th okay. for sure. Nancy, I love your planner. Thanks. This one is really happy. Yeah. I wasn't super pumped about September, so I'm Well, September was our get back in the swing of things. We didn't yeah. really know what we were doing. Also, we were launching and that was it. Also, yeah. you were designing all of I, the I was doing covers. A bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you were doing a bit. Yeah. Shall we now look at our- Now can we look at the ones from the interwebs? Yes. Okay. So these are from our Facebook group. This first one is from the lovely Annie Plans. Annie Plans. We love her. We love her. And she has beautiful handwriting, which I think yeah, probably like- has. 
200 people tell her per day on oh, the internet. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So she uses the Laurel Denise planner as her family command center. So this thing is actually up in her foyer, propped on like a cookbook stand thing. Yes. It's like laying there for her children to reference and probably husband and stuff too. Yes. Yes. Um, which seems so nice yeah. to be a kid and have that reference. Yes, I should do that for my <laughs> own children. So she sets up her monthly calendar with just like special events, picnic, tourney, volunteer. She said she was at that tournament for, um, I want to say it was like 11 hours oh my or gosh. 12 hours. Like, and it was a karate tournament. Oh, cause they do a lot of karate. Yeah. 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 Wow. yeah. yeah. Cool. Left side of her week, she does daily events on the left side and then kids events on the right side. Yeah. Karate. Karate. Mm -hmm. Lots 20 of practice. practice. 20 practice. Uh huh. Mega team. Mega team. <laughs> wow. They're probably they, so they're strong. They're probably black belts. Yeah. And then I love this. She puts the Aww. school meals oh, on the that's right side. So cute. Yeah. <gasps> Which Don't is like something holes. that a kid is probably always asking. Like, yeah, what like am I what's gonna, gonna what's get, what's on the meal for yeah. that school? <gasps> oh, I love that. And then weekly weather on yeah. the right side. My kids ask me that every single what's morning. What's the weather gonna what's be? What's the weather gonna be for what they're gonna wear? wear. Yeah. 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 Check the planner, kids. Yeah. And then over here in her notes section, she has a monthly checklist to track her kids' chores. Oh, I really like which that. Which is great. Yes. K and M. On the very far right, she has her family's yeah. weekly grocery staples to check off each week to buy. What? Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh. I have seen Annie's layout so many times and I've never, I've missed that every time. It's so smart. That's and I'm so wondering if smart. like, if a kid, if, if a kid could come, come in and, and be like, oh, out. I just ate all the pickles. You like, guys, need to buy the more. number of times. This, this is so smart. Amazing. So this is another Facebook user. Love it. On the monthly side, she has her special events appointments and also bills that are due. Oh, smart. She does a bit of budget tracking, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. I'm always impressed with. Mm -hmm. And then here she does a journal of, or what okay. happens. Okay. Uh, is she a teacher? I think she is a teacher. Cause that's what it seems like she's like sub plans and then lots of students out for testing, like yeah. that kind of stuff. It looks like she maybe writes her school stuff in black and her other stuff, her personal reflection in oh. blue. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look. Yeah. She does that over here too. Yeah. That's cool. I love this. Then she uses an insert to count her daily macros. Oh, this is the, I'm sorry. This is the notes insert. This is a notes insert. Oh, wow. So we love an insert user. Wow. And then on the right side of her week, she does a daily food log. Eat well. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. Yes. And then, and then here she does habit tracking and like mood tracking um, and also bill. Oh, nice. Bill tracking, or has she paid the bill? Yeah. She yeah. has tiny handwriting like you, so she's yeah. putting a lot in there. She here. has like my squiggle handwriting, which I really love. Always impressed with the budget tracker. I know. I know. So she if she uses her notes section for budget and for weight tracking. Right. Oh, yeah. and it's week ending. So she does it whatever she did that week. Oh, how cool. Yeah, super cool. So yeah. she's. She's cool. Oh, and she has her Southwest point. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's like Maddie that is, with her travel hacking. Yeah, I bet she's I bet, <laughs> I bet she's a travel hacker. Daily weigh-ins uh -huh. and all this stuff. You're doing great, yeah. Facebook user number one. And then here okay. we have our Facebook user oh, it's number so two. Colorful. It's <gasps> Wait, so colorful. I had Did she draw these? No, no, no. These okay, are stickers. These are clear. Oh, they're yeah. beautiful. Oh, I wish I had written down. I wish I knew where they were from. I love the watercolor with Me too. the pen. It's really That's pretty. one of my favorite. Yeah. And it kind of like goes lovely in a way with the highlighters. Because yeah, they're like not like that thick, you know? I yeah, she like does. That. So she does special events and appointments in the month and they're all okay. color coded as you pointed out. Well, she has her so key lovely. down here. Yeah. And then the stickers just really add to it. Yeah. <laughs> and her workout and her personal stuff. Oh, And then over it. here, she does an inspirational quote at the top yeah. with exercise scheduled on the left and work reminders on the right. Oh, how nice. So I love her little titles, move your body, work reminders. And this like normal day. And these are the other days, period four, Six two. So she must be a teacher too. She must be. Yeah. Oh, those teachers are planning really nice. copies duty. Yeah, she's totally a teacher. Using and then on the right side of the week, she does her top three priorities, color coded at the top. Oh, how Isn't that nice! Cool? For the whole week. 
Oh. And then personal reminders and habit tracking here. Well, one's work, one's home, and one's self. Yeah. Those three things. Yeah. Oh, did you already say that? I just, yeah, that's I the... It. I needed to actually read it. I can just hear it. Those are her top three priorities. I love Prep, that. Prep, SOL, classwork, clean room, start 5K plan, and pray. <gasps> Good for her. And, oh and she's going to do great with that because I she's work out with her. I know. I like her, her workout scene really good. We would be friends. I think so. <laughs> and then meal plan on the right. Yeah. And she's meal planning. And we can just see the peak of a, of a daily gratitude, gratitude list, list, which I love. Oh, yes. And that's so that. cool. These are great. We love our Facebook users. We really do love our Facebook users. Yeah. They're great. They're so great. Oh, All right. That was almost enough to switch me. <laughs> to the horizontal. But I'll never do it. <laughs> Vertical is my baby. I tried to switch to horizontal at the end of August because uh -huh. I was panicking. But I just needed, I just needed to take a beat. <laughs> That's why we make the inserts. That's why we make the inserts yeah. for the beat timing. All right. Well, all of our spreads are in this one planner, so yeah, we can so only, we can show, only one. show you one. <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching. Yeah, if thank you, you. We actually did a similar video last year. It's called Five Ways to Organize Your Horizontal Weekly Planner. <laughs> and I'm pretty <laughs> sure they're different. So much from yeah. last year. I think we had a, a journal one last year too, but yes. like a lot of them might be different. So it would be cool to go back and yeah. like, watch that one. Would recommend. Yeah. And then next week we'll be posting our vertical one. Yeah, that's so. what I'm saying. Yeah, hey. vertical girlies and boys don't, don't be, don't, don't feel left out. Yeah. You will be included. <laughs> What's our sign off? I hope may your horizontal be helpful and your horizon be happy. Yeah, 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 it's good. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> May your horizon be helpful. Nope. Nancy Frost. Nancy Oliver. E.E. <laughs> e. Cronauer over here. <laughs>